energy. Hey, welcome to another ASMR haircut. Episode, what, 9, 10? Yeah, I think about like episode 10. Yeah, okay. Okay, well, you know, sit back, relax. We might have a little sports talk or anything like we usually do. Just relax to that and the sound of the clippers and the scissors. Once again, it's your boy, KG. The Barber Mike. Yes, sir. So sit back, relax, enjoy. You know, um, I'm thinking about naming the series uh, Barber ASMR Barbershop Talk. Mm hmm. You can do that. You know, you tell me what you guys think too. Comment below. Yeah, people like to hear people talk. That's mm -hmm. why there's talk radio. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what. That's why podcasts is uh, popular now. You're just sitting there listening to people talk. Mm-hmm. Of course, the topics should be interesting, but yeah, that's why I figured we'll mix the two. Yeah, cutting hair and talking. Yeah. Cause and we, at this, we, and have, the, we be having some epic debates, bro. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and at this and at this tone too is cool. It's relaxing. Mm -hmm. Reminds me of being in the shop. You know, and, and as we do these things, you guys can join in the conversation if you not sleep. <laughs> if you when you wake up, uh, maybe you can look back or you know make a comment there. You know, my team, we got the battle of the the battle of the top rookie or second year players this week. Joe Burrow versus Justin Herbert. They went like one and three. And everybody be arguing like, oh, should have Burrow, should the Chargers have taken Burrow or should have Justin Herbert have went so, you know. Yeah, I think I think just uh, I think Joe Burrow is a better quarterback, and I think that uh, they went to the to the right perspective teams. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. I think the reason why your quarterback is being able to do what he's doing is he he looks he looks good with that team. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He looks like he's a good fit for that team. With the attribute that he possesses. And I think Joe Burrow, going from the team that he was at and the type of quarterback that he is, is, is kind of what 
the Bengals needed. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it helped that he got hurt, so he didn't have to just rush in. Mm -hmm. Because who was the starting quarterback before uh, Josh Allen took over? Mm -hmm. No, that was a question. You said what happened? Who was this, who was our starting quarterback before Josh Allen took over? Oh, you meant before uh, Justin Herbert? Yeah. Philip Rivers. Oh, okay. So he took over right after he left. Yeah, Philip Rivers left. It was supposed to be Tyrod Taylor. That's what I thought. I'm like, but, I thought y'all had somebody else. But first. Tyrod Taylor never played. Okay. He ended up getting hurt right before the season. Oh, well, he played game one, game two. I don't know what happened, but. He uh, ended up getting a punctured lung or something. I don't know. Okay. And so Justin Herbert came in and balled out. And won Offensive Rookie of the Year last year. So he stayed the starter. Yeah, like I said, he looks good for you guys. He's sturdy in the pocket. Man, he could run too. Yeah. Isn't he pretty tall? Yeah, he's pretty tall. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He can run. That's a good thing. He's mobile. That's what I said. I said he, he fits for y'all team. Yeah. My tight ends this week is Goddard and uh, Dawson Knox. And I don't know who I should start. Goddard is projected to have more points because he's, he's playing against New Jersey. But freaking... New Jersey Jets? Yeah, no, I mean New York Jets, my bad. Um, but, um, and then who... Uh, and Dawson Knox is playing Monday against... What team? Dawson Knox is the um, the tight end for the Buffalo Bills. And what team are they playing? They're playing New England. Okay. New well, England's obviously, you can't, obviously you can't start him. Yeah. That that was just an exit right then and there. But see, that's the only thing is Jalen Hurts don't like passing to the tight end like all last week. He, I I started I started Doss, I started Goddard and sat Dawson Knox. Uh -huh. And Jalen Hurts passed to the tight end only twice the whole game, bro. Yeah, they I'm probably like, don't call. They probably don't call plays for him because realistically, you pick the you pick the tight end that where Zach Ertz exit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like how that's, much? That's why I picked him much, up because I knew he was gonna get those snaps. No, he has to know the plays. He has to be ready, he has to know the plays, and the quarterback has to feel comfortable with him. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And if he wasn't that guy before Ertz left, then that's dead. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, cause you can see somebody coming before they even actually arrive. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's like, oh man, they had Ertz going, and they had, uh, what you say his name is, Goddard? Or? Goddard. Yeah, they, and they had Goddard going at the same time, but no, it wasn't like that. You know, I think Goddard was just more of your blocking tight end. Mm -hmm. You might want to, you might need to trade for him. Because the other dude, he ain't going to do nothing against Belichick. Mm -hmm. You got a young quarterback coming in, and Belichick is just going to confuse him after he put together that masterpiece with Tom Brady. I'm, I'm thinking, though, honestly, I'm thinking, though, he might be the best, best one. Because, you know, usually your... Your tight end is your tight end and your running backs are your bailout receivers. Yeah. If they if they're rushing you or they're confusing you, usually you just drop take a three three yards here, four yards there to the tight end. Depending on how much pressure they're getting in on the rush, because then what happens is your tight end and your running back starts to become your extra blockers. Mm-hmm. So but I'm like, if you're not finding nothing down the field, which they're not, and, and your running game ain't doing nothing, then. 
Usually it's your tight end. But Bullichuk is going to stunt on him. He's going to disguise the coverages. Mm -hmm. And that's going to confuse the young quarterback. So I don't know. And then I'm like, this dude playing against the sorry New York Jets. So, yeah, he playing against the Jets, know. but it seemed like Jalen probably going to roll out. And like I said, I don't think too many plays are called for Goddard. Yeah. I'm not too for sure if he's a receiving tight end. Jay, Jay, Jalen, see, Jalen's the type of quarterback. He'll run it before he, he'll check down. Yeah. You know, he'll run it to... Yeah, he'll, he'll run it before he checked down to a tight end or a... Of course, he has to. Mm -hmm. Because if Jalen Hurts was not running and doing what he's doing, would you be thinking about Jalen Hurts? Nope. Because he ain't no Deshaun Watson standing in the pocket doing what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Deshaun stay in the pocket and then show you how he can run. Mm -hmm. So other than that, Jalen Hurts is getting, you know what I'm saying, swallowed up. I don't even think Dak is better than Deshaun Watson. Just then, just then, everybody. The Dallas Cowboys got another pick. Who, 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 threw the, who got it? Watkins. Everybody getting the pick. I know what's his name is, Matt. Mm -hmm. Diggs. Mm -hmm. Diggs just got a pick. Diggs got a pick before Watkins just got this last pick. No, he didn't. Yeah, he did. Diggs got a pick, and then then uh, Watkins got a pick right after. Are you sure? Yep. Well, unless, he got a pick unless, and ran unless, back. Unless, What's the score? Because the, the score would have to be like 40-something now. Unless they, they took it away. It's 27-10. They got that one pick, and then... They got another pick, which was, which was your boy, um, Diggs. Diggs, and then it was, then it was this one, because I, I heard him just say Stephon Diggs with his ninth pick of the season. Mm. I just, I just wanted for him just because I want them to have the same thing that Dak and, and Zeke had their rookie year, uh -huh. where you know how Dak won the rookie of the year. But he brought Zeke up there because they really was number one and number two. Mm -hmm. So I want Trayvon Diggs and uh, Michael Parsons to win. You know, I know Parsons is probably like, I know I need defensive player of the year too. But, you know, at least one of them get one each. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. that'll, that'll really solidify some, some stuff. You know, you got Diggs with defensive player and then Michael Parsons with defensive rookie of the year. But he probably gonna get defensive player of the year. He he the top ten defender in the league already. I and think he's a rookie. I think future years to come, two defenders they're gonna be comparing and going back and forth about is gonna be uh Trey uh Trayvon Diggs and uh Sante Samuel Jr. I like him. He a rookie this year, but I like him. Oh. Over there in the Chargers. Yeah. He started off hot too. He had like three interceptions in three games at the beginning of the year. Almost like Diggs did, but Diggs obviously got more. Yeah. But, <clears throat> but yeah, he a rookie, so you know he be have he has his growing pains. Get burnt or read a read a what you gonna call it wrong, but uh -huh. yeah, I like him overall. I think he's gonna be good. Yeah. That might be a little biased, but okay. I gotta see <laughs> if he was one of the top corners that was in the league already. Yeah. Cause you know, Diggs is only a second year, a second year player. Yeah, no, I know that. Yeah, so I, that's just, a, yeah. I just liked him cause he was from Alabama, the Creed, the Creed, I didn't know. And then he was, you know, his brother, I didn't know he had more, you know, Creed to what I thought. I, didn't, yeah. I thought he was always a corner. I didn't know he played wide receiver first oh, and yeah. was a top ranked wide receiver. Oh, dang. Yeah, I didn't know that. I, I was like, oh, so that makes him a deadly corner. You know what I mean? It's kind of like, to me, it's like when Deion Sanders was a corner, and then they, people start putting him at wide receiver a couple plays. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, next year I can't wait to see what uh, what the youngster and 
and uh, Derwin James. Because I know next year they're going to be nasty back there. Mm. Derwin James, he begged for them to draft uh, Sante Samuel Jr. Mm. He was like, please get him. Get him. And they, they picked him up in the draft. Yeah. Everybody talk about how good he is. I think, I think, but I mean, that. like I said, he's a rookie, so he gonna have his growing pains. But two, three more years in the league, bro. I is, think. He did his dad there. play? Uh huh. His dad. I think Sante Samuel played for the Colts for a long time. What? Uh, and you said he was a rookie this year. What? 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 What, what did y'all get him in the draft? Huh? Where did y'all draft him? Um, that was, that was our second pick. Um, okay, so he was a second rounder? Yeah, possibly, unless we had two first rounds. <laughs> okay. But I believe he was probably a second rounder. Oh, okay. I just know Cause I'm first, like, cause I'm like, what's the other was, corner? We got, like, you got Pat Sertan, that was one of the top corners, and there was another one. Yeah, Alvin Cromera. Yeah, he's out. When I think about the Saints, I feel sorry for Drew Brees. I thought for sure he was over the championship. They had that one. Which one? Oh, well, no, they didn't. Huh? No. no, they did. Uh-uh. Yeah, they had that one. You mean they after, went to the Super Bowl? Oh no, yeah, you're right. He did yeah. win the Super Bowl. Yeah, but they had that one right after Katrina. Katrina, yeah. No, oh, okay, never mind. Then. But other than that, yeah, I feel bad for for Matt Ryan. Oh, that's his fault. Yeah. He's still playing too. I I be forgetting yeah. that he even plays, bro. <laughs> yeah, because the Falcons is so destroyed. And he getting all that money over there. He should have left. Mm-hmm. You know, I get it, but I'd be like, I'm out of here, bro. Because there's nowhere you can't you can't go up from there. Yeah, you can only go down. Right? Because it's Especially like. You gotta get back to the Super Bowl. <laughs> oh, there ain't no getting there no more. That was their last, that was their moment. Uh-huh. And they lost a, what, a 25 point lead? Yep. And all you had to do was run the ball every single time after that. Mm. I mean, oh, hell, God. you almost would have been better off taking a knee every play and punting the ball away. Man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Take a knee, let the clock run down. Take another <laughs> knee. You know what I'm saying? Let the clock run down and then put them all away. Your defense would have been rested. It's time to see if my team could get a must win. That's really what you know what you're working with. When it's a must win, mm -hmm. and y'all go out there and get that win. That's how I, I judge teams sometimes. Yeah. Because I'm like, it's different from winning in the beginning of the season, but when your back is against the wall and you need that must, must win, can y'all go out there and do it? Uh -huh. That'd be the only problem with me and my team. Sometimes we play to the strength of our opponent. I hate that. Like, for instance, we'll mess around and we'll take the number one team in the NFL to the brink and possibly beat them and then turn around and struggle against the Minnesota Vikings or something stupid. Yeah. Like, are y'all serious? <laughs> hey. Y'all yeah, don't stop playing with these people. 
lose to the damn Raiders like we did last week. I'm not gonna... No, I meant the Broncos. Oh, so you did last week. No, that was us. I'm like, man, we lost to the damn Broncos. That hurt. Shit, we lost to them too. <laughs> Y'all did, though. Now, I be hating those teams. Teams that ain't going to make the playoffs, but they be beating all the good teams. <laughs> well, that's because teams be taking them lightly. Uh-huh. They be sleeping on all of them. Oh. They be balling ever since they got rid of Von Miller. I'll tell you that. Mm-hmm. They're like two and one. Three and one since they got rid of him. You know, I'll probably send a message to the organization once your franchise player gets traded away, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Everybody's probably like, they got rid of him. I ain't shit. They're definitely getting rid of me. Yeah. Oh, gee, Uh huh. I'm glad I didn't take this one, bro. That was a last. I for sure was going to pick the Saints. Just because I knew the Cowboys were sliding. The Saints obviously weren't favorite. And I'm just like, you know what? This is definitely a game that I could see them dropping. One of those must-win games. But they did it. Mm-mm. Which is crazy because it's like we really should just be fucking uh, 10 and 2.
and take your mask off from me. So if you think about any topics that you would like us to discuss on the channel, it's something that we can be nice about, you know, so type that in the comments below.
Bottom line is, y'all gonna win y'all division. That's all that matters. Well, we ain't winning that now. Cause it's like, you know, we, uh, you know, we've been there and did that. So we playing a lot of people. They have a lot of talent to be in the same spot. Mm -hmm. Going to the same spot. But like, by all means, I don't believe that we have the we need right now to win the championship. And so we like, I feel like we can get there. Mm -hmm. And I feel like there's things going on, like how they do with the team of last year, how everybody's getting hurt. Yeah. And they kind of was able to kind of, you know, muscle their way in, walk past and march for however you want to say it. Mm -hmm. But I don't think we're not built like that. Yeah. You know, so it's like we we gotta hope uh we can do it, you know what I'm saying, do what they did, what the Suns did. And let the top teams play each other, but cause you think about it, we gotta see Aaron Rodgers, I can tell the big Buccaneers. Thank you. Your face look buttery in the camera. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that shit look like butter. <laughs> that face looks like butter. Can I get a thumbs up or something? Yeah. I'm gonna get some gas or something if that's a clean fade.
people, how's it going? How's it going? How's it going? See your boy, LeBron. He's moving that kind of quicker like a guy. Well, like, just, just like this nigga. Extra rest. He had no COVID. That's what that's what I said. I was like, he had an extra rest in there. Yeah, LeBron didn't have no COVID. I don't care what nobody said. He didn't have no COVID. And it has the same thing for COVID related. What up, Mecca?
and another one. Like you said, that's another one from Barber Mike, your boy KG. Until next time, relax. Two of them. Uh -uh.